They might as well make it four dollars. What's the difference? The skin is just skinny. Okay. <laughs> Get it sexy. Yeah, baby, run that back. Work has been working, your girl. It's a new era of the bad bizzle. Now they tried to underestimate me. Get them, glow. It was on sale. We got it. And y'all, that just smells so freaking good. That's the model for 2024. Just stay tuned. Good morning cousins, welcome, welcome back to another vlog. Y'all, actually it's not even morning, I'm always actually 12.53 p.m. Okay, it's literally one o'clock. And y'all, your girl's about to go do hair, so that's kind of like why I'm dressed and literally about to walk out of the door. But I just wanted to open this vlog up because this is either going to be moving vlog, it's going to be like a mixture kind of vlog. It's going to be moving um, for like episode three, but it's going to be like also a week in my life, if that makes sense. Your girl got a whole lot of stuff we need to get done like this weekend and then next week is going to be a kind of busy week also. Let me go ahead and go to the car and then I'm going to finish kind of just telling y'all about everything that we have to get done. Yeah, I'm about to put ten dollars worth of gas in until I get to the cheaper gas. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, cause I just the gas I just passed y'all three seventy, three seventy three. That's crazy, right? They might as well make it four dollars. What's the difference? Okay, y'all, let me go pay for this. I'll be right back. Coffee table and stuff to put in the truck. Yeah, I can. Okay, well I'll come over there before um I go to her house and then we can go. So I'm up cleaning up and stuff, about to run a few errands and get some groceries and then um I'll be that way. I'll let you know when I'm uh, headed that way. Alright. The skin is just skinny. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be a weekly vlog, a realistic weekly vlog of just like me living alone or it's probably going to be a moving episode. It's going to be something like that. But yeah, we got a whole lot we need to get done this week. Y'all know your girl work through the week now, so we got to figure out and kind of maneuver and get stuff done when we're not working or when we off work or whatever. Right now, y'all, I am headed to go get my massage. So we're going to go ahead and get that done and knock that out and then I'll kind of explain to y'all the rest of what we're going to do in this video and just what this video is going to be about. Okay, y'all, so your girl is in here. We're about to get out of massage. I'm about to go ahead and get undressed real quick. I asked Lady, could I get some content? And she said that I could not record. So your girl is not going to be recording. I'm going to just catch y'all when your girl get done. But let me show y'all, like, the little, uh, So this is the little room I'm in. It's so crazy because the rooms look so different every time. It's Future K. I want to thank Silv X Dre for sponsoring today's portion of this video. You already know I love me some Silv X Dre. One thing about it, I'm going to rip my Silv X Dre. Okay, y'all already know. Any vlog y'all see, I always have on my Silv X Dre. When I tell y'all, this is literally some of the best jewelry I've ever had. Anytime y'all see a girl with some necklaces on, babe, just know they from Silv X Dre. I want to thank Silv X Dre for sending me these two pieces. Let me go ahead and open up the box and show y'all what they sent your girl. So this is the first piece that your girl ended up receiving.
receiving. They ended up sending your girl a necklace. Like, y'all, she is literally so freaking cute. Like, get into her, okay? Y'all know what the case stand for, the big one, okay? Big KK. When I tell y'all I love my necklaces, like, y'all, I literally shower in them. I do not take these junks off. Y'all see, I have my necklaces on in every vlog. Every video that I film, y'all always see I have my necklaces on. One thing about it, I do not have to take my necklaces off, y'all. I don't have to worry about my necklaces turning. I don't have to worry about them irritating my neck. I don't have to worry about any of that. Y'all do know that Mother's Day is literally right around the corner. We in April. Mother's Day is literally right around the corner. And this is a perfect gift for your mom, your grandma, your cousin, your friend, your girlfriend, whoever. It's an amazing gift for birthdays. Let me go ahead and show y'all the second piece that they ended up sending me. This one is on the shorter side because it is an anklet. When I tell y'all I am literally in love, okay? Like, I love my anklet so bad. One thing about it, I'm gonna wear my feet out, okay? Like, I have sandals on. I like to wear sandals. As soon as I see a little sun, baby, I want some sandals on. So y'all know this summer, your girl's gonna have her toes out, gonna have her sandals on. And baby, if you ain't got no anklets with your sandals, what you doing? What you doing, babe? Let me help y'all get right this summer, okay? When I tell y'all Civic Jewelry literally have anklets, they have some of the cutest anklets, y'all. Whether you were looking for silver jewelry or whether you're looking for gold jewelry, baby, Civic Jewelry, they got it. It's almost summertime. Anklets are the perfect statement piece to add to your jewelry collection. Not only do they have anklets, y'all, they have rings, they have earrings, they have necklaces. Literally, whatever you need, they got it, okay? For an affordable price. And I'm gonna give y'all a discount code. Like, y'all already know your girl got a discount code for y'all. I'm about to save y'all some coin, baby. I'm about to get y'all some money off, okay? The code will be at the bottom of the screen, and it'll also be in the description box. So, y'all make sure y'all go check the description box. Overall, y'all, I love my silver jewelry. It's the perfect gift for a man, perfect gift for a woman, a child, whoever. Father's Day is right around the corner. It's coming up. Father's Day is in June. A lot of men love chains. They love necklaces. I'm saying all that to say, y'all, civic jewelry is literally the perfect gift for anybody, so do not let the holidays pass by without making sure y'all people is good, okay? Civic jewelry shipping is so fast, and then on top of that, they have a 30-day warranty, so if you get your piece and it's just not what you expected, baby, you can ship it back and get you something different, okay? It's always ways to do a workaround. They literally have global free shipping, so it does not matter what part of the world you're in, wherever you're at, baby, you get free shipping, okay? Even if you're not located in the U.S., and you located in another country, baby, you still get your free shipping. Like I said, y'all, I absolutely love Silex Jewelry, and I think y'all will love it too. Y'all already know your girl got a discount code for y'all, like I told y'all earlier. Make sure y'all go check out the description box so y'all can get y'all some money off, get y'all some coin off. Make sure y'all go get y'all some jewelry, and even if it's not for y'all, do it for a loved one. And just make sure everybody is right this summer. Baby, we outside this summer, we showing out the skin, so make sure you and your people is right, okay? Make sure y'all go tap in with Silex Jewelry. Once again, I do want to give a huge shout Shout out to Civic Jury for collaborating with your girl on today's video because, baby, I absolutely love y'all pieces. With all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of this vlog and let's go ahead and get back into the video. Make sure y'all go cop some Civic Jury, okay? Okay, y'all, so your girl has made it back to the house. Y'all, my massage was so good. Like, when I tell y'all I needed that so much, like, I'm still kind of relaxed. So, currently, it is 3.30 p.m. We're just gonna sit on the couch and finish doing a to-do list instead of me standing up in the kitchen. We need to go get groceries and then, y'all, this week also, that's what I'm doing today, though. We gotta go grocery shopping today because my oven's supposed to be fixed tomorrow. Like, my stove's supposed to be fixed tomorrow and girl can finally cook. Oh, I need to put some olive oil on here. I also need to go buy Dollar Tree, y'all. I need to just see what essentials I can find because I know for sure I need some plates and I need some glasses. So, I'm gonna see if I like anything in Dollar Tree before I go to Ross. I got Ross on the list as a maybe Ross and Home Goods because I do want to buy some organizers today, y'all, because I got this big, let me show y'all. I see this container right here with all that stuff in there. I haven't put none of it up because I need to organize it. So, yeah, and then we need to order two things off Amazon. I know I need to order a silverware little tray to put, like, my spoons, forks, and knives and stuff in. And then I know we need to order, what else? Oh, a paper towel holder. So, I got paper towels, y'all, but I want, like, the little thing that connect. Like, y'all know you can stick it up under the, I feel like y'all know what I'm talking about. On the countertop, you can stick it up under the cabinets. I want one of those. Like, this new apartment for me, I want to make it, like, homey, but very simple. You get what I'm saying? I don't want it to look too crowded. Like, my couch is already huge. But I don't want it to look too crowded to the point where it's just stuff everywhere. You get what I'm saying? I don't I don't want that. And then I need to organize my closet, too. Y'all don't know when we're going to get to that. Y'all, why did it literally slip my mind that I'm uploading a vlog today? It's literally 3.53 p.m. And I'm definitely uploading a vlog today. So, I need to make a snippet for this vlog and export full things. So, I'm about to actually do that right now. And then, um, okay, we're just really about to multitask. We got to do this and we about to clean because we, we got shit we need to do and get done. But 
Y'all, so your girl is, we're about to go, okay? So we are about to go to a Dollar Tree real quick because I need to see what I can find before I go to like Home Goods and Ross and stuff. But we gotta hurry up because Home Goods close at 8 p.m. It's currently 7 or 4 p.m. But I had to wait for my video to start uploading. You gonna see them? Now they tried to underestimate me. Get them, Glow. Fraudulent, you know you the truth. Get them, Glow. <laughs> Stop overthinking me. Okay, with you. Yeah. I don't know if I like these glasses. They look kind of funny at the bottom. Now, I will get some champagne glasses. I got some champagne glasses in here. Like for mimosas and stuff. And even I would drink my orange juice in these. Like, I wouldn't mind. So, yeah, I'm going to get some of those. Okay, y'all, I don't have no plates at home, so I'm trying to decide. Should I get some paper plates for now or what? By the time tomorrow comes, if I don't find a place by today, then I'm going to just go get some paper plates. They do have, like, these gray mittens. I think I'm going to get these. Y'all, so we at Home Goods. I did not tell y'all when we made it to Home Goods because, baby, I'm still busy trying to get here. I think I'm gonna get this. I like this because this ain't your typical bottle that everybody has. I think I'm gonna put oil in this. It is only $4.99. But really, y'all, in all honesty, I really just came to Home Goods to look at like their storage containers and stuff like that. And I came here to see if they had like these cups. I think I like this one better, y'all. I think this one. Y'all, we just came out of Home Goods and I got so much stuff. Well, I got two like big bags. And y'all, I literally thought I was gonna spend more than $100. Like, I just swear my total was gonna be between $130 and $150. I didn't even spend $100. Like, y'all need to quit sleeping on Home Goods. If y'all don't got a Home Goods, please go shopping Home Goods. Y'all know earlier I was with Michaela. We had went and got massages and she has this room spray in her car. And y'all, that just smells so freaking good. I'm going to Bath and Body Works right now to see if they have it. And if not, oh, they're closed. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I should have known they closed early on Sunday. It just wasn't meant for me to get it the night then. That junk smells so good. I think it was called, um, I think it was called Lakeside Morning. I think that's what it's called. But I, your girl is going to go get it, okay? Because it just smells so freaking good. I kind of want the candle and the, um, Y'all know, I, baby, Future been having me in the chocolate, okay? That's that's how we listen to Future. It's either get it sexy or it's Future, okay? Or it's Big Glow, okay? That's what it's been lately. Or it's like me listening to like a podcast or like, um, when I say a podcast, I probably mean Andy Frisella because that's what I be listening to. Or like a non-fiction book. When I be working out, that's what I be listening to. But when I'm in a car and I'm bumping it, yeah. No, it's future, big glow, a big sexy. I'm just strictly coming to Ross to see if I can find some plates and some cups and like some bowls or something. Because I tried Pop Shelf, I didn't see nothing that I liked. Home Goods, I didn't even look at Home Goods because I was strictly focused on getting storage stuff so I could finish unpacking everything. I just hate to unpack everything and then have to go back and reorganize it. When it's just like I can reorganize and throw away as I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was like my biggest thing for going at Home Goods. Plus, I knew that was about to close, so I wasn't really looking for nothing else. And by the time I finished getting all my storage items, the lady came on the intercom like it's eight o'clock y'all need to basically check y'all ass out and get get the hell out of our stuff basically what she was saying that was my main goal in there so we finna go around see what we can find 
And then once we leave Ross, we gotta go to the grocery store because your girl gotta get some groceries, y'all. Like, baby, I can't keep eating out. Okay, eating out is not for me. Cause for one, it's not always promised to be good. Sometimes you eat out, you be like, I spent my money on it. Like, did I really? And I'm to the point where I have to check my bag in the drive-thru line if something not fresh, if something not tasting right. Yeah, baby, run that back. And it's just because, honestly, I don't have time to be paying for something that I'm not even going to eat. And I got to go spend more money to go get more food. Because I'm not even eating that. You know what I'm saying? Child, yeah, baby, we don't have time for that. I went a bunch of places trying to find plates. And girl can find none. So, we in Ross. Because I did find, um, for like, my old apartment, y'all, I threw everything out. Because I just really wanted new beginnings. Like, this is a new era of K. It's a new era of the bad bizzle. But this just being like a new era of me and a new era of just me being alone like just a whole new journey i kind of wanted to like do everything new for my apartment i didn't really want to take much from my old apartment unless it was just something like clothes you know like necessity stuff like that i found this nice set of plates from ross y'all and i think i found them for like maybe a $7.99, $6.99 or $7.99. So I'm like, I know I can find some really good stuff in here. These are really cute. They got some cute little bottles, y'all. Like for pasta and stuff. Let me sit y'all up. I think I'm gonna get these. Chef's kiss. Y'all, so the spoiledness in me. We just came out of Ross and I got all this stuff in the car and I got stuff in the trunk. The spoiled part of me want to wait till my brother come to my house to have him take all this shit. But I got to go get my mirror. I'm mean, not my mirror. I got to go get my coffee table and stuff. So, and I told you I was doing this, this vlog. So, I got to get my coffee table and stuff. So, I'm just like, dang. I got to get all this stuff out before I can get my coffee table. Like... <laughs> But anywho, y'all, we are at Kroger. Y'all know this is the spot to be, baby. I love me some Kroger. I love me some Kroger. Damn, okay. These days, I do want to go to CVS or Walmart because Krista has been talking about this vaginal feminine wash. And baby, she done sold me. Okay, now I want to get some. Okay, y'all, so I'm literally about to get everything I need and get in and out. And y'all know we're going to do a haul when we get home. But we're not going to do a haul right away because your girl got to go and pick up her coffee table and stuff like that. So I'll do a haul with y'all later. I was about to scream. I was gonna say they don't have native. I'm about to cry. I'm just gonna get everything that your girl need and then I'll talk to y'all probably when we get home or something like that. just got locked out you probably like hey what's going on i'm gonna just give y'all this quick tea real quick oh my goodness so i y'all know how we went to all these stores and went and literally picked up everything then michaela calls me and she like do you want to play because i guess like she, well not i guess but she had her family and stuff over so she ended up cooking she made like pot roast mac and cheese cabbage uh pot roast mac and cheese cabbage and I think that may have been it. I think that's everything she made. But she was like, do you want to play? I was like, girl, do I want to play? Yes, I want to play. Because my girl cooks down. Yeah, I ended up going to go get a plate. So when I left Ross, I ended up going to go get a plate from her house. And then I left her house because I needed to get something for my brother. And then I needed him to help me get all of this out. And I needed him to put my coffee table in the trunk and then get that out. So, yeah. We ended up getting home, y'all. Literally, we was bringing everything up, y'all. Y'all know I had my vest on earlier, right? So, I come upstairs after, like, the third time we went up. I think second or third time we went up. I come upstairs and I just take my vest off because I'm like, bro, like, I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? So, I take my vest off, y'all. And I set my keys on the island, right? I had already brought my phone and my purse up the first time I came because I'm like, I'm going to just leave my purse and my phone upstairs because it's just more baggage to carry. And y'all, it's a lot of shit. Like, look at all this stuff. 
Y'all see all this? Like, that was a lot we had to tote up. And then we got my coffee table right there. It was a lot. I ended up leaving my phone and my purse up here intentionally. Came up here, dropped my vest, and forgot my keys, y'all. Ended up being locked out. Ended up being locked out. So, I'm like, dang, what can I do? So, luckily, the car door was unlocked. So, me and my brother had just sat in the car and put the bags back in the car. Ciao. It's so funny how God works. Let me just tell y'all how it is so funny how God works. Because literally, I called the helpline or whatever, and it was like, maybe you may like get charged a fee or whatever for like calling for maintenance lockout or whatever. So we end up calling or whatever, saying that we're locked out. And so then me, I'm like, okay, after we got off the phone with them, I'm like, okay, well, I can't just sit here. Like, I gotta be at work in the morning. It's my job. It's already 12 o'clock. It's probably almost one by this time. Yes, it's 12.48. Y'all know my phone is in military time, so zero, zero is 12. So it's 12.48, right? I'm like, bruh, I can't, like, I don't know when somebody gonna come, if somebody gonna come, but I can't afford to just be down here all night. So I'm like, I tell my brother, I'm like, okay, well, let me go get out and kind of like look around this side of the building, look around that side of the building and just kind of see if anybody's outside. Part of me was like, dang, ain't nobody gonna really be outside. Like it's 12 o'clock a.m. in the morning. It's Monday, people got work in the morning, like nobody's gonna be outside. But the other part of me was like, okay, well take that chance cause you never know. So I went around this way, ain't see nobody. I came around this way, walked down to the end, and it's crazy because my neighbors, the two guys that live on the same floor as me, they ended up bringing my couch in. They were up and they were on their balcony. So I was like, hey guys, I didn't see what, I couldn't see where they were because it's dark outside. So it was like, I can't see them on their balcony. So one of the guys who was like, hey, is that you? I was like, yeah. I was like, hey friend. I was like, y'all, I didn't like myself at my apartment. Can y'all unlock the door for me? Cause you know, you can unlock it through your phone. But mind y'all, my phone was upstairs. So I'm like, can y'all like the door for me? He was like, yeah, yeah, we got you. And they was like, what interest you in? I was like, yeah, the one that you bag up and the door is right behind you. They ended up letting me in and I was like, Ugh, thank God. Thank God they ended up letting me in. Like, they have helped me so much since I moved in, y'all. It's not always a bad thing getting to know your neighbors. I know sometimes you can have very, very creepy neighbors. But for the most part, if you live in like a really good area, most of your neighbors are pretty wholesome and pretty helpful for the most part. Yeah, that's what I love about living on the side of town that I live in. Like, it's a lot of like very, very nice people and um, very, very genuine people. But yeah, they ended up letting me in, child. So, y'all, I was not playing on my day going like this getting home at 1 a.m and telling y'all i didn't got locked out so yeah but i am gonna give y'all a haul of everything that your girl got today so baby let's get into the holly <laughs> first things first y'all ended up getting these glasses this is a set so it has the short glasses and it has the tall glasses in here so your girl freaking needed some glasses so bad y'all so it's got the tall glasses. These are the tall glasses. And they look so cute. Like, Timmy, this is not cute. Timmy, like that. Timmy, that ain't cute. I got these clear tall glasses, y'all. And then we also, we got some short glasses in there too. But it's kind of layered. So I'll have to take all these glasses out and then show y'all the short ones. But we're not doing that because your girl needs to get some rest. I gotta be up at like six in the morning. And I'm not gonna be able to get up at four and work out because by the time I go to sleep, it's probably gonna be two, three o'clock. Well, let me not say that, but. Hopefully it's earlier than that. Hopefully it ain't number one so when I go to sleep. We're gonna have a after work workout tomorrow. Yeah, these are the glasses that I got and this is just how they look on the side. This is the best visual I can give y'all being that I can't actually take the short ones out. I ended up getting these little bowls, y'all. They're kind of like pasta bowls, like what you would say pasta in or chili or even like beef tips and rice, like smothered chicken and gravy. And stuff like that, they can just like leak in a sense if you put it on like a flat plate. So that's what I'm calling these like soup and pasta bowls. Let me show y'all everything I got from Dollar Tree. So, well, y'all know I told y'all I got these champagne glasses from Dollar Tree. I got these uh, champagne glasses because I was like, this would be so cute. Even though you girls not drinking right now, this would just be cute to have like orange juice in for breakfast. So, you know what I'm saying? For $1.25. One of these for $1.25. Like, and y'all see it's real glass. Like, don't be sleep on Dollar Tree now. And then y'all I ended up getting, um, so your girl got these middens for just cooking and stuff. Actually, that was not middens. What do you call these? Pot holders. So I'm like, them ain't mints. What I'm gonna take out a bag of mints. And then I ended up getting these um, oven mitts. I got them in gray, cause y'all know gray is the vibes. So I ended up getting a loofah because baby, I've been needing one. 
I've been needing one of these so freaking bad. Like, girl, I've been needing a loofah forever in the day because I've been using a towel as of lately, like ever since I moved, because I just really haven't been to the store to just get everything I need. And I'm gonna just get little by little. I was in a store and I seen it, so we got it. Okay, y'all just got this little spoon, just like a little cooking spoon. It says McCormick on it, $1.25, okay? And then I just got these um, tongs, they silver, and then the end is black, which is, it match our color scheme, so I got it. Then y'all, I just got this, what's well, not a strain, it's a it's a splatter screen and honestly what made me think about this was like when I'm cooking chicken breast or I'm cooking like something like grits something that just have like a little pop and you don't want to quite put a lid over it but you do you don't want grease to be flying everywhere get you one of these okay a dollar twenty five hey I'm just the messenger that's everything that you girl got from Dollar Tree because I really didn't get much else so we got the champagne glasses we got the toothpaste we got the loofah we got the splatter screen, the cooking utensils, and we got the pot holder and the mittens. I feel like that was a good Dollar Tree run. But not all the bags, because I only got these two. But y'all, I got these two big old bags from Home Goods. Okay? Not only did I get those big old bags from Home Goods, your girl spent under a hundred dollars. On all this, I'm gonna show y'all I spent under a hundred dollars. So I just wanna be the one to say, I know I was one of them people that thought Home Goods was expensive, and I would have rather went to Ross or TJ Maxx or five below to buy what i'm looking for because i'm like or i'd rather order off amazon but really amazon can be expensive so i definitely would try in store before you just immediately go ordering everything off amazon unless it's convenient for you then by all means amazon but i just want to be a messenger and tell y'all that in store is a lot cheaper than amazon because i feel like everything that i got from home goods i know for a fact if i had ordered off amazon my car would have been at least 250 if not 150 175 definitely between 150 and 250 that's what my car would have been for sure for sure i ended up getting this um a strainer y'all it is silver and i mean it's just giving tea you know what i'm saying like baby it's giving luxury it's giving quality okay i thought it was so cute y'all know it matched the white and the silver and it ended up being $9.99. So this was only $10. I got this. I honestly got a lot of storage containers. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that now. That your girl got a lot of storage containers. But I just don't know if I'm going to do fridge or bathroom. Like I'm going to just kind of be going back and forth. Whichever one fits better. So this is a um, this is actually a cabinet bin. So it's something that will go in your cabinet. But we're going to see. I'm going to put it wherever I see. I see it's going to be best fit. Okay. So yeah. Ended up getting this storage bin. And this was a nice. 99 it was ten dollars awesome y'all my battery is flashing so i'm about to put this one on the charger and change it out <laughs> okay y'all already know that <laughs> it's a bad bizzle back in the building you know what i'm saying then i ended up getting this little one and i'm honestly thinking y'all this is going to be best fit in the bathroom like in the little drawer i'm probably just gonna put like i don't know what i'm gonna put in here i don't know i'm thinking it could either be used for the cabinet or be used in the fridge I mean, not cabinet. It's either going to be useful. I don't know. I'm just talking all over myself at this point. Oh, also, let me take out a price. So, this one was $4.99. Then, I got another storage container, y'all. I'm, I'm definitely thinking this one for the fridge. For sure, for sure, I'm thinking this one for the fridge. Because I'm thinking, like, I can just put, like, I can meal prep, like, yogurt bowls and put them in here. That's what I'm, that's what I have envisioned in mind. Or I could do, like um my fruit cups or i can really do a lot of stuff with this so i haven't really decided yet but i definitely think this is gonna be a fridge baddie okay she was 5.99 because y'all know on amazon it would have been 15 dollars. let me stop scoring on amazon y'all like i don't love amazon down okay because one thing about it i'm definitely still gonna shop on amazon okay when it comes down to it, definitely gonna get some Amazon packages. And then y'all ended up getting this. So this is also a storage container. So I'm gonna show y'all how it was like built. So the top two come apart like they're separate and then the bottom two are together. So for the bottom two, I was definitely thinking like jewelry collection or I was thinking like, um, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I just wanna make something up so bad. It was on sale, we got it. Oh, I saw y'all, that was a $9.99. I'm literally finna turn it to the Keith Lee of home interior. Oh, it does go like this. That's cute. So y'all, I ended up getting this step organizer, right? <laughs> right, right, right. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. I have two visions. Let me know in the comment. Like literally go and comment right now, right after I ask the question so I can kind of have an idea what I'm gonna do with it. Which by the time y'all seeing this video, cause I'm so backed up on content, I may have been made up my mind what I'm gonna do with it. But 
I was thinking y'all for this, I'm either gonna use it for the closet or I'm gonna use it for the kitchen. Now I'm kinda leaning more towards the kitchen, not gonna lie. I'm kinda leaning towards the bathroom too. So if I do it in the bathroom, what I was thinking was perfume collection, body sprays and deodorant. And if I do the kitchen, I'm just gonna put like my most used seasonings that I just use to cook on the regular. So of course like salt, pepper, slap you made me, probably garlic and onion powder, stuff like that. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think because i'm actually if, even if i don't <clears throat> use it for the bathroom i'm gonna order another one for the bathroom well not order i'm either gonna get it in store or order it off amazon and then y'all ended up getting this egg carton because i literally needed one haven't had one in so long and this was $4.99 and that um little three-tier thing was $7.99 ended up getting some of these these are measuring cups they are very much so heavy duty measuring cups i don't know if y'all can tell but they definitely Shorty got some weight on her. All that means is that they're good quality. And I'm definitely a quality of a quantity kind of person. And these were $9.99. They ended up getting another one of these bins that I showed y'all earlier, $4.99. Last thing I got y'all was this. Um, is this the last thing? No, this is not the last thing. I got a couple more things. So I ended up getting this um, storage container, y'all. I'm definitely gonna be using this for my fruit. It was $6.99. And I actually have some strawberries and I bought some blackberries from the grocery store. And saying we gonna get some on and pop it in this vlog, but stay tuned that's all i can say stay tuned that's the model for 2024 just stay tuned if you want to know what kk got coming up next just stay tuned that's that's tea baby just stay tuned and you're gonna find out ended up getting a measuring glass glass measuring cup that's the proper name for it but y'all got the point um i don't have a measuring cup so i needed one this was a 3.99 last thing that i got which i don't remember what this is Oh, OMG. Y'all know I showed y'all this when we was in Home Goods that I ended up getting this and I cannot wait to put my oil in it, y'all. Like, yeah, your girl's excited, baby. But this also ended up being $3.99. And y'all had one of these a while ago, but I ended up breaking it. I ended up getting this for my oil. Isn't it so cute? Like, <laughs> so that's everything that your girl ended up getting from Home Goods. And here is the total. So yeah, we ended up spending $90. That wasn't bad because I thought I was gonna spend like $150. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was just filling up that cart. I'm like, okay, okay, chill out. And then y'all, the last place that we went was the grocery store. We had went to Kroger because y'all know I'm such a Kroger girly because Kroger give me them points and I be needing them gas points because y'all, literally the gas station y'all went to the other day, well, I didn't go to it, but I passed by it because they was out there rabbit ass mind. I didn't go to it, but I passed by it because I just couldn't see myself paying up for gas. The gas was a $3.47. I said, huh? Y'all know how much I pay for gas at Kroger today? $3.22. So yeah, when it come down to that grocery shopping, shh, I'm riding with Kroger because they're going to make that gas cheaper every time. You're going to pay way less than what the rest of the world paying. That was honestly not even how much I really could have got off because I really could, if you really want to get down to it, I really could have paid like $2.80 or $2.90 for gas. Let me tell y'all, T, let me put y'all on if y'all don't know T yet. I haven't been grocery shopping lately because y'all know I was living with my mama for a month and not even a month because I moved in like February 20. So. Anywho, that's the last point. But usually i go grocery shopping a lot more when i'm in my own place but the fact that i was living with my mama i didn't have to go grocery shopping if i did go i just ran and got her like a couple items from walmart because walmart was like the closest grocery store i haven't been grocery shopping at all and to say i have not been grocery shopping at all for me to get gas for 322 yeah that was a good deal which gas was originally 332 but i ended up getting it for 322 so i got 10 cents off but like i said it's because i have not been grocery shopping and then also if y'all did not know this if you go shopping, like grocery shopping on Fridays, you get four times the fuel points. So usually that's what your girl would do. I would try to go grocery shopping on Fridays because you get four times the fuel points. If you grocery shop, let's say, I don't know, you end up getting 20 fuel points or 20 cents off. That 20 cents will turn into 80 cents off on a Friday. So yeah, make sure y'all go and tap in with Kroger on Fridays. Just tap in with Kroger, period. Okay, they, it's like the amenities. It's like two apartments, but which one got better amenities? Make sure y'all tap in with Kroger, okay? Y'all don't try to put y'all on every time. Back to the Kroger haul. So we ended up getting some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna run through this haul so quick, y'all, because my eyes are getting so heavy and I'm sleepy and I need to get some rest because I gotta be at work at 8 a.m. And I gotta be up at 6 because I gotta start getting ready. And I gotta shower because I'm not showering tonight. Ended up getting some a Jiffy Mix, y'all, which I have one in the cabinet. But when I make my cornbread, I like to make two so it could just be super thick. But I ended up getting some flour because we're gonna make some beef tips and rice. If not tomorrow, and I just say if not tomorrow because I got some 
projects I need to do tomorrow. So if not tomorrow, definitely sometime this week because I may just make tuna tomorrow because I need to use that bread before it go bad. Okay, so I may just make tuna tomorrow. And then I got some rice, beef tips and rice before I got it. The girl ended up getting some Tropicana orange juice. Instead of getting my other favorite juice, Caribbean Sunset. If you know, then you know. I talked about this actually in my last moving content. Like my first ever moving content that I did. I talked about this juice because it's so fine. 10 out of 10. Like I was telling y'all, I got some blackberries. And then the girl also ended up getting some strawberries and honestly i'm probably gonna have to be up very early for work in the morning y'all because not only do i need to make a protein shake it don't matter if i'm going to the gym in the morning or not i still need to make my protein shake i need to make my protein shake and then i may make a bowl also doritos i actually got these doritos to go with this cheese that i picked up and i think i'm gonna start making it like a little snack putting like some doritos on a plate covering them in cheese and then like putting sour cream on top and add some jalapenos on top oh as a snack while I'm sitting on the couch watching my favorite movie. Oh, that's gonna eat down. Your girl ended up getting some popcorn. This is literally, I feel like this is the best bread of popcorn. Please don't add me. And I always get movie theater butter. That's like one of the few snacks that I can actually eat right now while I'm on my 75 heart. Y'all, I ended up thinking about the popcorn because I ended up getting some of this. Yum. So I got some spray and I got the popcorn, but I probably would have just got the butter kind. I had it on the spray that I got was movie theater. Then y'all, I ended up getting uh, some more native because I know, y'all know I told y'all I love native. Like native has me in a chocolate. It lathers so freaking good and it just makes me feel so clean. Oh, and this one smells so good, y'all. So I ended up getting a mint and cucumber this time because y'all know the last time I got the coconut and shea, I think. I don't know what it's called, but it's basically the one that's in brown writing. Like this one in green is the one in brown writing. But this junk smells so freaking good. The cucumber and mint, oh, chef's kiss. And then y'all know I had been telling y'all that I wanted to try Method. We ended up getting some Method body wash. And this one is the rice, the coconut and rice milk. Coconut, rice milk, and shea butter. And it smells so good. Oh, it just smells so clean. So I got my favorite chips in the world. Can you guess? Yes, they're in the orange bag. Cause y'all know your girl love orange, but yeah, y'all know I eat these down. Okay, and then your girl ended up getting some white popcorn. Okay, yogurt because y'all know, baby, y'all know how to put y'all on. This is literally my favorite freaking kind of yogurt. This is the cheese that I was telling y'all about. Of course, beef tips. Then y'all ended up getting some potatoes. Then y'all, I just ended up getting some beef broth. I will most likely just talk to y'all tomorrow. Your girl will see y'all in the morning. Sleep tight. Night, night, cousin. What's up, cuz? I know y'all ain't seen a baby in a little minute, so but <laughs> we'll be back in a bit, okay? Yeah, so y'all, I just came from the gym and I had to cut that other light on because we need a little, we need a little light. I need y'all to see me, okay? Get into the vibe, y'all. I was in the gym heavy, like your girl be consistent. Yeah, so we about to go ahead and start getting some stuff on. Let's go ahead and get some stuff organized, y'all. About to go ahead and take my rings off because lately I've been having a bad habit of taking my rings off. Like I don't know why, but I just start getting some stuff organized, y'all. About to go ahead and take my rings off because lately I've been having a bad habit of sleeping in my rings, y'all, and I try to take them off the next morning when. You girls finna shower or just get ready for work. And child, let's just say they, they don't be trying to come out. And he was like, y'all see we got all this over here. And then I got more stuff in my closet because I thought the maintenance man was gonna come today and fix our stove. Our stove is still not fixed, y'all. At this point, I'm getting pissed. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna be calling them in the morning at 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be like, hey, my stove's supposed to be fixed yesterday. And it still wasn't fixed. But y'all gonna want y'all rent money on the first, right? Not, not the third or the fourth. Y'all gonna want y'all money on the first. But my stove ain't been working since I moved into my unit. But anywho, I had to go to the gym and blow some steam off, which I didn't get up at four this morning to go to the gym, so I had to go after I got off work. So now that we're from the gym, it's nine o'clock, it's 8.56, and we got one thousand to do. Okay, for real, let me put some music on so we can go ahead and get into this. Thanks. Just to eat up at this table. Chances, shit was scary, had to take Ooh, some changes. Can't have a rhyme if they can't make them. Seems like ever since.
This podcast is all about becoming the best version of whomever that may be. Elevation and living in your truth. Hi, you guys, and welcome to episode three of the Better to Her podcast. I am your host, Kamani Janae, and today's episode is going to be just something I've been thinking about. We'll title it later, you guys, but I just wanted to come on the podcast and just vent a little bit. Today's episode is basically about what life has been teaching me, and life has been life, in y'all. Like, it's really been taking your girl up and through there. But I mean, I'm grateful for all of the things y'all looking for a podcast to listen to go check out my girl kimani okay it's just a vibe so go check it out it's called a letter to her i'll leave her info in the description box and i'll also put her podcast name on the screen it is on apple music i mean not apple music <laughs> it's on apple Podcasts. it's on spotify it's pretty much on every platform she's on spotify she's on the anchor app she's on apple podcast she's on google podcast she on pocket cash she on radio public yeah come on baby we need you to focus okay i ain't spend all that money on you for you not to focus I don't have a saying for y'all on but anywho y'all so your girl has been pretty much organizing everything in the kitchen from like washing dishes and just trying to get my little kitchen together child I'll kind of give y'all like an update um if uh, probably not tonight I'm not gonna lie to y'all because it's already 11 10 p.m 23 10 is 11 10 my phone just in military time I just was putting some stuff in like the dishwasher that I've seen washing some dishes put some laundry up I just put some laundry in the um dryer so right now I'm about to go ahead and hang these clothes up y'all I got some clothes on the floor. These are clean clothes. I need to go ahead and start hanging these clothes up so I can get them in the closet and just get them up off the floor. And then we're going to start organizing the bathroom a little bit, y'all. My cutoff time is 12 a.m. and it's already 11 11. So that means we need to speed it up so we can get into bed. I'm not staying up past 12 doing this because I do like have to be at work in the morning and then I'm getting up at 4 a.m. because your girl got to work out. Whatever we don't finish today, y'all know we'll finish it tomorrow or in another part of the vlog. Yeah, y'all, when I went to mom's house the other day, I did go get the rest of my hangers because, girl, boo, I don't care if hangers is $2.99. I got some hangers, so let's get them. I had one to her house to finish getting my hangers because I know I had hangers somewhere in the bag. And I'm just so glad that your girl ended up finding her hangers because I was sure I was going to go to Target and get some. And expect the best in everything you do. This means that you should expect to succeed more often than not, to win more often than lose, and to reach your goals in the end, if you keep going. There is a 10th law of success that can be used in many areas of life. It is called the law of focus. It says that things you focus on and think about over and over again with strong feelings tend to become a bigger part of your inner and outer life. As you think about qualities you want to improve, like courage, sincerity, and persistence, you tend to build those qualities into your character and personality piece by piece. This is one of the most important findings in psychology. These two laws, the law of focus and the law of mental activity, help explain a lot about who you are now. Everything you've thought about in the past and everything you're thinking about now has a big effect on how you act and behave. What you focus on has a big impact on the range and quality of the results you achieve 
and the level of success you experience. The law of habit is the 11th law of success. It says that almost everything you do is natural and without thought. You tend to stick to things you know how to do. It says that from the time you wake up in the morning until you go to bed at night, you tend to take the easiest route and do what you've always done. You brush your teeth with the same toothpaste, eat the same breakfast foods, go to lunch at the same time, and work in the same way every day. There's nothing wrong with making habits that take away unnecessary stress. In fact, you'll know your life is going well when many of the things you used to have to focus on, like driving a car, are done without you even thinking about them. When you do things over and over again without thinking about them, your mind is free to focus on other things that will help you reach your goals. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week Been too long for an so cheap and your flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey, you got it, girl, you got it. Yeah, pretty little thing, you gotta pick it, now you wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Way hitting you, the DM looking violent. Talking while you come around and now you're silent. Flew the Cooper 17, no guidance. You be staying low, but you know what the fight is. And we never got you on being modest. Good morning, cousins. So, y'all, I'm up. It is 6.23 a.m., but I am about to put these dishes up and basically get some content before your girl goes to work and clock in. Y'all see I'm dressed. I got my scrubs on. Your girl is about to go ahead and put these up, and then I'm going to make me a yogurt granola bowl this morning before we go. But I'm going to just do a little montage, and then y'all know I'll talk to y'all when we get off work. Do you remember when we fell in love? We were young and innocent. All began, it just seemed like heaven, so I did it, and do you remember? I think you'll be back in the fall, I think you'll be back again. It's a bad bizzle in the building. Okay, on a serious note, you girls at the house. I worked out about an hour ago. I came home, got on the phone with Key for a little bit. So let me kind of like catch y'all up. I'm always talking about let me catch y'all up to speed, but y'all. We had two packages coming from Amazon. For one, oh, I don't need to show y'all. Let me cover my address. So we got a um tray. We got a silverware tray, y'all. So you girls need to go ahead and set that up and then this is a, I know the paper towel holder that you put under your cabinets. So yeah, we got paper towel holder. We need to put both of those up. And then you girls also cooking tonight. Cause y'all know your girl ain't cooked in a minute. And your girl's stove got fixed today. So let's, <laughs> round of applause. But yeah, your girl's stove is finally working. I don't know if they came and changed it, put a new one in, it's put that one in a vacant one. Or if they did some electrical, I, I don't know what they did. <laughs> Neither do I really care. I'm just glad it's working. So I got some beef tips that's been throwing out y'all. They kind of need to throw out a little bit more. Tonight we are making, let me tell y'all something, menu baby. We making beef tips and rice with gravy of course. Well, beef tips and rice. Gotta have gravy. Making some cornbread and then we gonna have some green beans. We gonna end up cooking that. So we gonna go ahead and unbox this. Oh my gosh y'all, it looks so freaking good. It's so freaking big. OMG, it's so freaking huge. OMG, y'all, it don't fit in this drawer. Y'all, it do not fit in this drawer. Update, it does not fit. I don't know why I'm smiling like, <laughs> girl, it don't fit. But um, it doesn't fit the way that I want it to fit. So let me show y'all. So it doesn't fit the other way. Let me kind of show y'all how I fit the other way when I put it in there. So it don't fit like, like this. As I can see, like, baby, we can't close that. We can't do nothing with that. And then when I put it... When I put it in this one, you would think it's long enough, but it don't fit in this one either. So it's not gonna fit sideways in here. Clearly, it's not gonna fit like that. So what I'm thinking is, I'ma just put it in here. 
but we just gonna do it sideways. That's what I'm thinking. Your girl don't really know what else to do because I'm not shipping it back. One thing about it, I'm gonna make something work. I'm gonna turn nothing into something because I'm not shipping it back. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up like that. I'm gonna just end up doing it sideways. One thing about it, where there's a will, there's a way, honey. If y'all ain't learned this about K, I'm gonna make a way every time. I'm gonna find a way out of no way. Oh, God knows. I hope I ain't nothing got to put together. Of course, it came with some screws. I love how mad it is, though. Like, y'all, it looks so good. So, I'm assuming I take this off, put it up there, and I nail these screws in. Which, that don't seem too hard. So, let's see. I probably should have just put these nails in. Inside, look for sure. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this, y'all. I think I'm going to put the paper towels right here. Um, Because, for one, it's right next to the sink, which I feel like is perfect. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Shorty gonna have to be sturdy enough because y'all, I have tried to put these nails in here countless times, and you know what? Patience is definitely a virtue, but not in this case. I'm not gonna spend an hour trying to get some nails into this. Like, I'm not gonna do it. I don't know where the other nail went. I'm trying to keep up with the nails just in case. Okay, y'all, your girl look a little crazy, but we went ahead and got our um, beef tips cooking. So now they're in the gravy. So we're just waiting on the gravy to thicken up. So while we wait on that, your girl, I think that dishwasher messed up my pot. I don't like that now. Yeah, I don't like that. It definitely messed my pot up. I'm trying to see, should I put it in this big pot? I'm about to put this on over in here. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so now that we have switched pots, we're gonna let the gravy thicken. I need to clean all this up. But yeah, we're gonna let the gravy thicken and we about to go ahead and make the cornbread real quick and then um, I'm gonna put the rice on. Y'all know it's my touch time, okay? <laughs> and I'm also exporting footage to start um, editing the next vlog for y'all. Yeah, your girl on her Zoom, okay? I feel like I say that every other vlog. I be like, your girl on her Zoom and then y'all don't get an upload for me for like seven days, 10 days. <laughs> I'm getting right though, y'all. Give me a little grace, cause your girl do got two jobs, okay? That's excluding YouTube. So with YouTube, that's three. Yeah, let me go and clean up real quick, cause baby, I got a whole lot of going on back yonder. Y'all, OMG, we gotta go to the store. Your girl needs some honey and I don't have none, so what I'm about to do is I just cut the eye down and we about to run to a Walgreens, cause it's a Walgreens literally like right here. Cause I gotta have some honey, y'all. If y'all don't put honey in y'all cornbread, Please try it. Like literally, I've gotten accustomed to putting honey in my cornbread that I don't eat it no other way. And I think I'm about to throw on my robe. Let me see what the weather is. Hey Siri, girl, what's the weather outside? 67, and the low will be 
Oh yeah, baby. We gonna put this robe on. Y'all know Kane ain't never had no shame in her game. I promise you. And y'all, the elevator back working for good. Like, oh, I'm geeked. I got some water in my truck, y'all, but I'm not getting that out. So yeah, let's hurry up and do this, y'all. It's crazy because it's 10 o'clock and I gotta be back up at 4 a.m. because I gotta work out tomorrow. But I think tomorrow I'm gonna just do like a little yoga workout because I know I'm doing arms on Friday. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna just do like a yoga workout or like a little Pilates workout. In my gym, y'all, we got like this yoga room kind of like a little yoga studio and it's such a vibe so i think i'm actually bring my speaker tomorrow instead of my earphones and just kind of vibe you know y'all i can't wait to start back drinking because and not because i just want to get drunk but i can't wait to start back drinking because i miss having my wine something that i love to do is drink wine while i cook like that's one of my favorite things to do yep they got some honey right sure baby how you, you doing? Comfortable. Yes. I, and I am okay. too comfy. I am mad because I'm not. <laughs> One thing about it, y'all know we're going to be comfy, babe. I'm going to just get y'all back to the house. Your girl is back at the house, and I was going to put my bonnet on. Y'all already know. Zany looks. Yeah, I had to go put my bonnet on, y'all, because my hair looks a mess. And I don't get my hair done until this weekend. Today is Wednesday. I get my hair done on Saturday, so y'all just stay tuned for the vlog. Okay, that's all I can say. Because y'all know I'm a film. I'm giving me some braids, y'all, and I'm so excited because I just need my hair done so bad. Like, the curls be cute, but then it's just like, okay, what's next? Call me country. Gotta have some hair on my cornbread. For sure, for sure. I'm cutting my iPad on because I'm actually about to watch Krista. I need to catch up on Krista content. They have to upload so much, y'all. I be trying to keep up. There's a couple people I need to catch up on. I need to catch up on her and I need to catch up on my girl Ari. And then Tootie dropped today, too. I need to catch up on her. And Keith gonna drop it. Ew, ooh, it's too much. Too much. Much. I just was catching up on the Leah the other day, so it's just like it's too much. Oh, and then I need to catch up with my girl Brie too. It's too much. It's too many YouTubers that I just love to watch that I just need to catch up on. These fans are like nails. I keep all of them because I, I feel like you never know when you're gonna need it again. That was actually really easy. I don't know why. I was holding off doing it because I thought it was gonna be so hard. Like I don't know, I was reading the instructions, I just could not understand. Like I don't know why I didn't think to just put on an instruction video. And then, y'all, so I'm in the room with, like, my hair stuff, you know, the area that we was doing the other day. And y'all know how I was telling y'all that the freaking part was missing? So I contacted the seller. The seller, the seller contacted me back and says, yeah, a lot of people be having this mistake. The part is inside of another part, basically. So I came in here. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, I look thoroughly in all the parts. So I just happened to look again, y'all. Niggas talking out of their neck. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. EOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say there's a lot of goofies for the check. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my temperament, my polar, choose violence. Hey, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a bomb. Niggas clicking up, but they not be legit. No 40 water. Tell them, oh, yeah, yeah, get up. Okay, y'all, so we got the food cooking. We got the rice on. We just put the cornbread in. I just set a timer. So while everything is cooking, green beans is going to be last because, baby, that ain't going to take no time. While everything is cooking, I'm about to go ahead and start editing. Something I want to do, y'all, is y'all know I want to get a coffee table up, but I have just been so busy. Like, work has been working, your girl. So, hopefully, um, I'm gonna for sure get it up by Saturday because today is with me just doing the 75 challenge and me working and trying to keep up with YouTube. It's just been a lot to try to like get my home together for real. I'm gonna for sure get the table up on Saturday because I only work one of my jobs and I don't have to go in and 10 p.m. So I literally got the whole day. I probably get up around like 10 or 11 because I work Friday night and I got up at 5 a.m. Child, so we'll get all the life together.
freaking lit about it like i can't make this up okay so as y'all can see your girl finally got her coffee table <laughs> i'm so freaking excited y'all it looks so good and i just think it looks so sleek and so nice i can't wait to get like some coasters and everything and just kind of like decorate it to my liking i'm probably gonna leave it empty for the most part but i am gonna put some stuff on that little bottom level of course when i start decorating but right now we just focusing on getting everything furnished okay but yeah y'all it took your girl a little minute to build her and get her fully put together but i ended up doing it i'm happy i at least went ahead and got that out the way because i was thinking i was gonna be able to build this table and do my hair tonight but it's like girl you knew this table was gone you I'm saying really be a project for real but i'm glad that i was able to accomplish at least one of them all the way throughout and so when i just get off work in the morning i'll go ahead and just like wash and blow dry my hair of course when i get off i'm a shower so i'll just wash my hair in the shower and then when i get out i blow dry real quick and try to give me some z's um uh, before i have to be at my hair appointment in the morning we make a progress and that means a lot so i'm pretty much done with the living room so far i got my couch and i got my coffee table so really the only other like main thing i want to do in here is get my tv and my bar stools so we went ahead and got our coffee table up. You girls keep the battery. <laughs> like we making progress y'all um it is like nine something so your girl gotta go ahead and start getting ready for work because i gotta be there at 10 i got all this trash right here in the way we're gonna probably end up cleaning this tomorrow after our hair appointment because i just can't see me cleaning that before i go to work tonight because i'm about to go ahead and get dressed real quick and i will just talk to y'all probably tomorrow most likely 
That's actually the end of this vlog, cousins. Uh, I never got back on the camp and closed this vlog out because this literally was the end of it. I don't know why I was saying I was going to see y'all tomorrow, but I already know. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. And baby, let's just talk about how y'all did crazy on moving episode two. Like, we're almost at 10K. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I love the people that tune in every episode. I love the newcomers. Like... The cousins, we going up, okay? I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. And mwah, forehead kiss. And y'all know I will see y'all in the next vloggy. Purr. <laughs>